Hi, is welcome to Fab Dentist. In this video, we are going to discuss about one of the important topic of indices that is DMFT, DMFS, and DEF. So, without getting delayed, let's get started. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share my video as it motivates me to make more videos. What is DMFT? D stands for decayed, M for missing, F for felt, and T for tooth. It was given by Henry T. Kellen, Carol E. Palmer, Kustin J. in year 1938. What is the advantage of these indices? This is simple, rapid and versatile instrument used for measuring DMFT is mouth mirror, explorer and one should know that DMFT is irreversible indices. Now, what is the procedure? for calculating DMFT index. DMFT index is applied only to the permanent teeth. Composed of three components that is D. Describe the decayed teeth. M stands for missing due to caries. F that describe teeth have been previously filled due to caries. Now, one should know that DMFT in the MFT, all the 28 permanent teeth are examined. Teeth not included are the third molar, unerupted teeth, congenitally missing, and supernumerary teeth. Now, the teeth removed for reason other than dental caries, such as for orthodontic treatment or impaction, are not included. Teeth restored for reason other than dental caries such as trauma that is fracture, cosmetic bridges or for use of a bridge abutment are not considered. Primary tooth retained with permanent successor erupted. The permanent tooth is evaluated since a primary tooth is never included in this index. Now. WHO has modified dental caries criteria in year 1987. According to this criteria, all the third molars are included in this index. Temporary restoration are considered as decayed. The initial lesion like chalky or discolored rough spot and stained fissures are not considered as decayed. Caries is recorded when there is unmistakable cavity, undermined enamel or a softened wall or floor. The only teeth missing due to caries are included in its M component, that is missing component. Now, now, what is the rules in recording DMFT? No tooth must be counted more than once. It is either decayed, missing or filled or sound. Decayed, missing and filled teeth should be recorded separately since the component of DMF are of greater interest. When counting the number, if decayed teeth also included whose teeth which have restoration with recurrent decay. Teeth are not counted as missing when an unerupted teeth missing due to accident. Congenitally missing teeth. Teeth that, that have been extracted for orthodontic reason. A tooth may have been several restoration but it is counted as one teeth. Teeth, deciduous teeth are not included in DMF count. A tooth is considered to be erupted when the occlusal surface or incisal edge is totally exposed or can be exposed by gentle reflecting then overlying gingival tissue with a mouth mirror or explorer. A tooth is considered to be present even through the crown has been destroyed and only the root are left. Examination method for DMFT D decayed, M missing, and F filled tooth. Now, what is the calculation of index? The maximum number of an individual DMFT score is 28 or 32. If third molar is included, then 32. Now, for individual DMFT, total each component that is D, M, and F are separately taken and then total d plus m plus f for example 
a DMFT score of 3 plus 2 plus 5 that is 3 decade 2 missing and F filled is 10 for an individual. It also means that 18 that is 28 that is when third molar is not included then 28 minus 10 is equal to 18 teeth are intact. Now for group average total the D, M and F for each individual then divide the total DMF by the number of individual in the group. Total DMF divided by the total number of subject examined. Treatment index missing plus filled divided by total D, M and F into 100. Care index filled divided by DMF into 100. Restorative index filled divided by decade plus filled into 100 is a restorative index. Now, what are the limitations of DMFT index? DMFT value are not related to the number of the teeth at risk. DMFT index can be invalid in older adults because teeth can become lost for reason other than caries. DMFT index can be misleading in children whose teeth have been lost due to orthodontic reasons. DMFT index can overestimate caries experiences in the teeth which have preventive feeling have been placed. DMFT index is of little use in studies of root caries. DMFT index equates a disease state with a healthy state by assigning the same score for decayed tooth as well as for the filled healthy tooth. DMFS index what means is the decayed missing filled surface index. It was given by Henry T. Kellen, Carroll, Palmer and Custon in year 1938. In DMFT, we are looking towards the tooth and in DMFS, we are looking towards the surface. How many surfaces are decayed, missing and filled? Now, the procedure. DMFS index is applied only to the permanent teeth as that of the DMFT. It is the component of three component that is D stands for decayed teeth surface and for missing teeth surface due to caries F filled surface that have been previously filled due to caries. Now what is the advantages of DMFS? More sensitive limitation longer duration require the use of radiograph to be fully accurate. This is off. Now the surface that is examined in DMFS is for posterior teeth we are going to examine five surfaces that is facial, lingual, mesial, distal and occlusal. For anterior we are going to look around four surfaces that is facial, lingual, mesial and distal. Now what are the calculation of DMFS index? If 20 teeth, 28 teeth are examined that is third molar excluded then 16 posterior teeth that is 16 into 5 that is 80 surface are intact 12 anterior teeth that is 12 into 4 that is 48 surface we have to be examined that is total 128 and when third molar are included then for third molar 4 into 5 that is 20 then total 148 surface we have to be looked now what is def index it was given by Goebel AO in year 1944. It is used for measuring dental caries in primary dentition. Previously that was used that is GMFT and DMFS is used for calculating the index in permanent dentition and DEF is for primary dentition as defined by Goebel D for decayed tooth, E for extracted tooth and F for filled tooth. Examination method for DEF. D stands for decayed, E for extracted teeth. Indicate those deciduous teeth which have been extracted due to caries or which are so badly decayed that they are indicated for extraction. It is considered to be E. Filled teeth. It indicates the number of deciduous teeth that have been previously attacked by caries but which have been restored without any recurrent decay present. A tooth may have several feelings but it is counted as one tooth. Now, 
if if a tooth has a feeling but shows evidence of recurrent decay it is counted as a decayed tooth what are the calculations for def index for deciduous or primary teeth the maximum deft score of an individual would be 20 and maximum score of defs will be 88 since primary dentition has maximum of 20 teeth and the calculation for def index is same as that of the deft okay only there is a change in number of tooth and that is for def we are going to consider 20 tooth and for demft we are going to look around 28 tooth if third molar is not included and if third molar is included then we have to look around 32 thank you hope you liked it